Hey folks, welcome back to Spanky's Hot Rides and Customs. In today's episode, we're going to be putting the board track bike together. As in last week's episode, you saw me doing a lot of patina painting. I didn't get into great details of how we did that, and I left out a few clips. So before we start putting the uh, bike together, I wanted to share a few of those clips with you that I thought you might enjoy. So sit back, hang on, and enjoy this episode of Spanky's Hot Rides and Customs. All right, so as I continue to uh, work on the uh, patina, uh, you can see, let me get this thing in the right light. You see I've started to add some orange to it. I've added a little bit more black. I've added a little bit more of the primer. And uh, now once this dries, we'll be able to uh, sand it off. And when you sand it off, that's when uh, it starts to look real. What we're doing here is just layering it up. I just get a, a little bit of orange on a little scuff, scuff pad. And you just wanna make, you know, little streaks like this, like it would have gotten scratched. I'm just trying to cover up a little bit of the black. There is no right, there is no wrong way to do this. Just do it until you, because uh, when you start sanding it off, that's when you start where you want it. It's not showing up on camera, but I'm, I'm barely putting this stuff on there. Super thick and super dry. All right, so what you've got here of uh, some uh, metal shavings off of my bandsaw. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna lay some areas that's got thick paint in it, and then I'm gonna let this stick to it, and I'm gonna kinda rub it in, and then when we start sanding it off, it'll be grainy, and then we'll hit it again with some of the uh, different colors, and it's gonna look like rust. We hit, take some of the areas. Like that. Now you can remember this fender was already looked like this before we started. It was pretty much rusted down. And all I did was scuff it up a little bit because I wanted to get the red color on it. Run this all around in there, get it all covered. Make it all orange. Remember, we're gonna sand this stuff off in a minute, so. While it's still wet. Very transparent. I know it doesn't look right on camera. I can sit here and watch it on camera and it doesn't look nothing like it does in person. But you're gonna see this when, uh, when I start sanding on it. Right now it looks like I just did some finger painting on a fender. Wait till we start sanding it. It's gonna take a minute because it's gonna have to dry.
All right, see, seeing how this is going on uh, super thick and it dries fast, what you're doing is you're smearing it around and it is creating just a few mils of thickness. And uh, this is gonna allow it to uh, be a little raised. And as you layer the paint and stuff in there, some of it's gonna stay and some of it's not gonna, is gonna get sanded away when we, uh, when we sand on this later. And that's why we've been layering it. But if you can remember some of the pictures, the, the red paint that we put on, it was pretty slick. I mean, at one point, I knew how long this was gonna take and at one point I was, man, it's pretty. I might just leave it like this. But that's not, that wasn't my intentions from the beginning. And I wanted to show everybody how to do this. And then, uh, or how I did this. This is not instructional, guys. <laughs> well, I'm just having fun with my stuff. So uh, I'm just showing you how I do it. <clears throat> but uh, my whole intention was to always do it patina. I mean, the wheels are naturally rusted. The spokes are rusted. The handlebars are rusted. All of that stuff's going to be left alone. All of the rusted chrome stuff. All I'm doing is putting, painting it to make it look like the parts that aren't going to be replaced. And the wheels were shiny and all of that. I would have just left the bike shiny. I would have put it in the booth, painted it with the automotive paint, clear coated it and would have left it alone, but trust me, these these uh, distressed look is so much more fun when you're out enjoying it. You don't have to worry about it. if a rock hits it, you're just adding to it, you know. And remember, it doesn't have to be all over. You're just going to do the areas that would have been nicked and chipped. All right, folks, the moment we've all been waiting for, we start putting the bike back together. So uh, first, I want to go ahead and install the tank. That's going to be the uh, hardest thing to get in, I guess, because it really fits tight like a glove. <clears throat> on the ends. <clears throat> so let me, uh, let me spin this uh, camera around and kind of give you a, a little preview of what it looks like. And keep in mind, I can go back and add or take away any patina that I want. Unlike a shiny paint job, if it gets scratched, you're in trouble. I've still got to center it up and uh, put the straps on. Let me lay these straps on top, show you what that looks like. All right, guys, this is what gets fun. Let's put some straps on. I may not have them in the right spot. And I'm gonna take these straps and uh, I think this is the one that goes on the bottom. But anyway, you see the uh, how the brass is, the old brass, unpolished, how it goes up against. Straps are in the wrong spot, but you just visual. That's going to really look cool. Still got to paint it logo on the tank. This is your chance to let me know, uh, should I put Spanky Special on it? Should I put Indian in the old script? Should it be Gold Leaf? Should it be White? Let me know what you think, please, because I'm undecided.
You can see on both sides of the tank, you can see how uh, the patina is there because that's where the rider's leg would be rubbing up against here. All right, so uh, on the tank or motor bottom covers that I made out of the pie pans, they were all scuffed and I scuffed them up pretty good and then uh, gave a little bit of character to them. And uh, now we've uh, painted them with a uh, silver paint and then I've scuffed it, and now I'll start doing uh, some patina work on that. It's gonna do it the same way I did uh, the bike, except for these are aluminum parts, so they won't have any rust on them. It'll be mostly uh, black that I'll use. And then I'll go back over it with some shoe polish and some stuff once the motor's all put together. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday morning to you. Uh, this is the last time that I'm going to ever try to guess how many episodes it's going to take to uh, build something and to uh, show you guys along the way. Uh, you know, I guessed that it was going to take four episodes, and I believe this is number six. I'm trying to keep the episodes short and let you see some of what I'm doing. So uh, this episode, we're going to do a little time, time lapse on it and uh, try to get uh, this bike at least assembled. I'm still missing a few parts. Uh, my pedals aren't here. Uh, the actual chain that uh, makes it a bicycle is not here. Um, missing one or two other little things uh, that I wasn't able to salvage off of uh, any other bikes around here. So uh, with that said, let's get in to the assembly process of this cool board track replica. All right, <clears throat> installed my cups up here. Just installed my cups in the crank. And uh, now let's uh, get everything spread out and let's put this cool bike together. I didn't get as far as I wanted, but it is starting to go together. I'm out of uh, the little brass screws and I'm out of some nut certs. <clears throat> so is the hardware store and those should be in first of the week. Pedals, chain. I got to finish the uh, fender bracket and then uh, my clutch and brake or my clutch and my gas throttle uh aren't here yet take you around to the other side <clears throat> so uh this is probably where i'm gonna leave it this video is also gonna have some more of the uh, detail work that i did on the painting still gotta finish uh Pinstriping. Give me a like if you like this. Let me know what you think. I still hadn't uh, decided on the uh, tank yet as far as uh, putting Indian on it or Spanky Special. I wish y'all would let me know what you think. Just comment below. 
And as always, thanks for watching, subscribing, following. Now get out in the garage and go build something.